This is hopefully the five minute or less video on how to get this particular Tetra kit running with the latest Dragon OS LTS uh, public uh, R3 build. It's uh, running live. I've done nothing except for boot it up, make sure that my RTL SDR is noticed. Okay, this uh, link to this Tetra kit will be in the description. I'm going to install, uh, do sudo app update. I'm going to install this particular libjson-c-dev, which pulls in the 12.1.1. I think it's close enough to what the developers say it needs to be there. In another window, because this is the packaged version of Genie Radio on Ubuntu 18.04, it's like 3.7.11. There's a bug in the Qt GUI entry. Um, I mean, I noticed it. It's posted on the Tetra Kit page, so. Unless you fix this, it's just not going to work right. So you can search for uh, locate the Q2 GUI underscore entry. This is its location. Pull open your favorite editor with sudo. I'm going to go down to line, I don't know, about 20, 21, 23 or so, right here. Just a little bit down there. You got that lambda. I come over and you're going to see, uh, let me stretch this out. You're going to see this here. I'm going to delete from the period and the two. Uh, uh, let me think here. So let me hit. So just delete what I'm deleting here. Parentheses there. Boom. Should look just like that. Control O. Hit save. Exit. All right. Normally I pull all this down in the source directory. Uh, when you do that, of course, you've got to run things with, with sudo. I'm just going to pull it down right here in the home directory. I'm going to change into the Tetra kit. You can find all these directions on the, the page there. Change into the uh, decoder. I'm going to run make. And since we're going to need multiple windows open anyways, I'm going to change to the Tetra kit again. I'll have that uh, ready, let me think. Uh, so we, right here, uh, how to build it. And don't forget, here's how to actually play the audio files. But you build the decoder. Let's change into the recorder, make. And last but not least, we need to build the speech codec. Let's go and change into Tetra. To the Kodak, make, tells you to copy what it makes into the recorder wave folder. So I do that by copy. Ah, copy. C decoder, that's recorder wave. Copy S decoder. Wait. All right. Got all that done. To run this, we're going to, let's see, in the decoder folder, dot forward slash decoder. That's running. In the recorder, dot forward slash recorder. And then in the third window, we will change to the PHY. I'm going to run GNU Radio Companion. And I'm going to select the PI for uh, RX.GRC, just the normal QT GUI. I'm going to open that. You're going to see it's in red. That's what this version, I'm going to take these brackets off. Apply OK. This is again with this particular GNU radio version that's in Dragon OS. I will execute the flow graph. See, it works. I have zero Tetra around here to 
try this. I've got this up at the top. Let's say I change it to six here. So interestingly enough, it doesn't crash, but I'm not seeing it except four characters now. So, yeah. So the Q2 GUI, it, it doesn't crash, uh, but it, it does seem to take the number off there. I guess you could use the PPM, uh, but it definitely doesn't uh, crash. So, all right. And when that's done, if you were actually uh, getting some sort of output, you could check in the let's see let's check the you would have uh, maybe some out files and you would change to the wave directory and you do out wave and there's nothing there, of course, but that would uh, transfer or uh, convert them over to WAV files and then you'd be able to play. All right, so the only problem may be the fact you can't put uh, four characters in there, but I'm not seeing it, uh, or, or four numbers uh, after the decimal. So, all right, hopefully that gets you up and going with uh, the Tetra kit.